That was a weird Mario voice. I am using the floaty jumpy badge. I do like the floaty jumpy badge. Get you, give you a Mario 2 vibe. Probably one of the greatest Mario games ever made. Well, Peach has the floaty machine. Not the others. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Right, does that not scream impossible game to you? Obviously it's not impossible, it's Mario, it's easier than the impossible game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 12, 13 years ago-ish, 2010, there was a game out on mobile, I had it on the PS3 as well, called the impossible game. You're a little square, and uh, essentially the screen was scrolling permanently, but you had to avoid all the little triangles by jumping over them on the platform, but you had to do it in time to the beat. And it got very, very hard. Like the first level was the only one I ever done. But it was proper hard. But I really enjoyed it. I wanted an addictive game. But I'm feeling this with these sorts of levels of Mario Wonder. So uh, let's see if I can do the second one, which is it's not horizontal, it's vertical as well as horizontal. Let's have a go. Yeah, let's get this done. Oh, yeah. See how much money we have to spend on lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. Climb to the beat. Climb. This is the one. First time. Fuck. Furthest I've got. Fuck. I always, there's always a big slope, like downhill after I do well on one. One good one in every ten lives.
so close. Right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Fuck. This is the one. Pretty good. That's an air ball. Obviously lied. Not feeling that good. Five minute break. We're going again. We're going again. Until my pizza's ready. Let me go get my pizza. This is the one. One and done. It's not. It's not. Damn. Before my pizza's done, I didn't need to get to the top of the pole, it was fine. Boom, that was tough but fun. Um, so what well, Mario Wonder obviously makes it into my top 10 of this year, I'm pretty sure. I'm only world two, I think that's world two anyway. I'm presuming this secret world is full of them impossible game type levels. I'm hoping so, that was well fun. Um, it got easier, obviously, as I carried on going through the levels because your muscle memory builds up, but. I'm um, looking forward to doing the other ones. We're talking about top 10 games. So on the 7th of December, the Casual Report is doing its live broadcast as it does every year, as we do every year, for the top 10 games of 2023. So if you'd like to cast your vote, I will put the link for the survey in the description below, down here somewhere. And then you basically get to cast your vote on what you think the best game of 2023 is. It all gets accumulated into one spreadsheet that Jack gets to rummage through and then we will reveal the top 10 games of 2023 on that live broadcast on the 7th. The way it works is if your number one is certain game, you'll get, that will get 10 points. Your number two will get nine points. Your number three will get eight points and so on. That's how it works. So yeah, if you want to do that, click down below and then cast your votes and we will see you on the 7th of December. I forgot that there's there's rules to this. There's rules. So some games that may have imported this don't count because they weren't released this year, etc, etc. But anyway, here are the rules for the Carriage Report's top 10 games of 2023. And yeah, December 7th in a bit. So the way it works is if you your number one will have 10 points, your number two will have 8 points. Fucking hell, I can't do maths. Number 10 will have... Oh, for fuck's sake. Your number 1 will have 10 points. Your number 9... Oh, my fucking God. 